In this video, I'll explain how DAX functions or UDFs can make it easier to format DAX measures that you use in a Power BI report. Let's say you're in a scenario where you have multiple measures that use the same formatting. You use them in tables, matrices, but also other visuals like cards, KPIs, line charts, bar charts, whatever. You need to change the formatting of these measures. You need to do something like increase the number of decimal places or something more complex like add custom currency symbols, custom units, or custom rounding. If you had to do this, typically you would have to do this one by one, selecting the measure, going up here and making the change, or going into the model view where you can select multiple measures at once by holding control and then making the change there. Now, this is still, when you have 150 measures, fairly inconvenient. It would be great if you could just point to one place where your formatting is specified and then you just maintain it there. That would be really easy. And that's exactly what DAX functions can help you do, is we can create a very simple DAX function like this one. So format string basic, which is probably the simplest function you can make. It has no parameters and it just returns this format string. If we apply the Tyndall script and create this in our model, we can now reference it as a format string for our measures. So if we go to our actuals measure, we can choose format dynamic. And now instead of our format string here, we can just specify our function. For a single measure, this serves no benefit. It's essentially duplicating the logic. But when we have many measures that are using the same formatting, this means that we're now centralizing it in one place. If we want to make a change, we only have to do it there. So let's go to our sales targets where we can make that same change dynamic. And then we can use this format string basic. Now, both of those measures are referring to the same format string that's maintained in that function. We can see this when we go over here, they both have four decimal places. If I wanted to reduce that to one decimal place, for instance, just for the sake of the demonstration, then now it's updated for both of those measures despite just making one change. Now, looking at this, you're probably wondering, you know, yeah, but if I have to do this for every single one of my measures, this is still going to be a pain in the ass. Well, there's a really easy way to do it. It does involve using tabular editor. Now, Tabular Editor is a really convenient way to make these changes because you can use C-sharp scripts. Now, you can have a C-sharp script, and what that script actually does is it's going to go through all of our measures where the measure matches a certain pattern in its format string, and then it can replace the format string with our function and then tell us how many it changed. And it can do this across our whole model. So we see here we have a bunch of different measures that have this format string, but then with a the push of a single button, we can update all of them. So then we can save, go back to our Power BI reports, and all of the measures are using the same format string. So again, if we go here to our actuals, so actuals and tabular editor, we look at the format string, go to its definition, we could change it, or even add a symbol, for example. So if I add the quad quotes, euros, and this is just going to prevent the, uh, the letters from being interpreted as part of the format string. If I save this now, then we see that it's been added to every single one of those measures. So this is a really convenient and easy way to maintain the formatting for your measures. You could just have a few different functions and then refer to these functions in all of your measures. Now, again, this is just a simple scenario. What if you wanted to do something like dynamic currency conversion to show a different currency symbol? Or what if you wanted to, for instance, show a different number of units with that currency symbol? Or you wanted to show a custom symbol like an arrow to indicate an increase or a decrease, or even another value, like showing the percent together with the actual raw numbers. All of this is possible with a dynamic format string, but it's going to be potentially dozens of lines of DAX depending on what you want to do. 
What I've actually done is I've created a library for common format string patterns, and I've released that on Daxlib. So you can just go here and get it and then add it to your model and use it out of the box. I'll show you two examples of what you can do. So let's say for our actuals here that we actually want to use this custom currency conversion. So first of all, I'm going to remove this in our basic function. We're going to go to our actuals measure, which I was just selecting actually. And I'm going to refer to one of these functions from the library, which is just going to be dynamic currency. So the tooltip here is telling me I need a column reference for the currency symbols. So I'm going to use that from the exchange rates from currency. And then I have to indicate the number of decimal places. And then in this case, it will be zero. Save the change. And now when I go back to the reports, I have the currency symbols appearing. And these are going to dynamically update when I choose a different currency. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm using fictional currencies because that's funny. But this is going to work with any currency that you have in your model as well, so long as it matches those currency symbols. And it handles both where that currency symbol is, as well as what the symbol is. So it works even if it needs to be a suffix or if it needs to be a prefix. Now, a second example of this could be if you want to change how the numbers are being rounded in a table, a matrix, or a visual. So if we look at our actuals, for example, again, we could go to our actuals measure. We change this to, instead of using this one, then we use uh, one of the basic for smarter rounding. And what this is basically going to do is it's going to round the numbers differently depending on how big or small they are so that they're always going to show three digits in this case. For example, now we're showing millions. We scroll a bit farther. We have zero decimal places here from showing thousands. Here we have two and we're showing millions and so on. And depending on your scenario, this can sometimes be useful so that you don't format it at the visual level and lock it at showing millions and then it ends up showing something like 0.0. .0 which can be unhelpful. So in summary, basically what you can do is you can centralize the formatting logic for your measures in a DAX function, which can be useful for simple scenarios, like just when you want to change a simple format string like I showed, but also more complicated scenarios, like when you have dynamic symbols that you want to display or units. And I gave a few examples of those with the functions that I've shared in DAXlib so if you want to get those for yourself, just go to daxlib.org. Then you can browse the packages and you can see this package is available. And then you can add it to Power BI uh, using the Timdall script that's provided. So that's it. I hope it's helpful. I guess I'll see you in the next one.